Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's March 9th, 2020. I'm out in the first food fair forest near the uh, blueberry patch right here. Honey hut over there and in the first food forest. So um, today this is an episode of Ask Me Anything about how I've protected the uh, blueberry bushes here. Uh, previously, James uh, Steffens had asked after watching one of my other videos on the blueberry bushes that we have here, uh, what sort of netting uh, we use and all. And this is a, a netting material that's, uh, that's held, that holds up for a couple of years. And I'll put a link to an Amazon affiliate link in the description below if anybody else is interested in this netting. And, uh, and then after posting that uh, response to James' questions, James uh, asked, uh, thanks for the netting response. My berries will be two years old this summer. The rows, and I, I, two after that, so I think he has two rows are 100 foot, I imagine 100 foot long. How far apart did you put the pipes? Uh, is 10 foot okay? Um, just close this so I it, you know it really depends everyone's situation is fairly unique I'll share with you my experiences as of the this phase of development now this I'm growing other blueberry bushes there they'll be one year old this season and uh, and they're doing fairly well <laughs> many of them made it through the winter just fine and I'll be posting videos about those blueberry bushes soon but my plans are to have a U-Pick uh, blueberry patch uh, in a different part of the property. These ones I put in here as part of this food forest to have more diversity here. Now we've had some browse problems with uh, white, uh, cottontail rabbits, uh, uh, white-tailed deer, and certainly the birds, all the birds come in when it's berry times. We have, this is a wildlife sanctuary here our property is. We have three different food forests so far I'm getting ready to start a fourth food forest and uh, there's tremendous variability and varieties in the various species that we have and the techniques we've used in each growing systems in each one of the food forests that we have and I've explained some of those features in, in previous videos and plan on sharing more as time goes on hopefully this isn't so bad with the wind but uh, with respect to the poles, uh, first thing I'll say is if you look around in, uh, in our food forest here, there are many blueberry bushes. So amongst these various fruit trees right down this row, there's a bunch of blueberry bushes here. Same thing, those are blueberry bushes there. And these blueberry bushes are high bush blueberry bushes that were native to this property. I just moved them from other areas and put them between the various fruit and nut trees all over the property. And, uh, and, these, and there's quite a different variety. We have some blueberries that are almost black and loaded with anthocyanins, uh, and they produce abundant crops, but they're very small blueberries, so it's more of a hassle to harvest. And but so those blueberry bushes get seven and a half feet high. I'm six foot two and I can't reach the top of some of these blueberry bushes. Now again, I don't spend a lot of time pruning those and I need to spend more time pruning them to keep them cut back some. You may be able to hear some of the Canada geese, geese making their way back here today. Uh, so the height of the uh, blueberry bushes really needs to be taken into account and your climate where you live, how well, uh, how, how, how large you actually want your blueberry bushes to be. When I planted this row of blueberry bushes, I planted them 42 inches apart, 42 inches on center. And these pipes that I'm using are galvanized, half inch galvanized conduit that I bend to make This is a half inch galvanized conduit that's used for electrical conduit. And I've made a video in the past about how I bend these and you can make your own jigs. There's plenty of YouTubers that make their own jigs out of uh, boards and all. I bought one um, from, uh, where did I get it from? I think it was Johnny's Seeds that I got my bender from. Really valuable uh, tool. And I bend these uh, regularly for the various projects I've got. Now this 10 foot galvanized uh, conduit 
I place these 42 inches on center as well so that they're midway in between each of the blueberry bushes. So whatever distance I'm planting the blueberry bu bushes apart, I, plant, I, I put these galvanized pipes, uh, electrical conduit rather, at the same distance but offset. So in other words, these are midway in between each one of the blueberry plants. The other thing that I've done is I've taken paracord, the same uh, cord that's really durable, super strong, that are used for parachutes and that are readily available every place. I use paracord, I anchor it at one end and then wrap it around, one wrap around each one of these, all the way down, down the top dead center. Now that helps to keep the netting from sagging in there. It helps because the birds, when they land on it, uh, they get smart after a while. The netting will start to collapse down on that area. And, uh, and so you'll lose some of the blueberries and some of the blueberry bushes will grow up in between the netting if that isn't, if you don't use some sort of uh, rope material to help hold the netting up. And I thought about using p three pieces of paracord we're one at the top, one at about 10, probably about 11 o'clock, and one about uh, 1 o'clock, or 1.30 and 10.30, something like that. Uh, the reason that I don't want to put them all the way down at a 45 degree angle is because the other thing that I do, we have high winds here. I use these re, re, uh, reusable uh, cable ties. So what makes them reusable is I can unhook them and I can snug them up to whatever uh, tightness I want. And that goes all the way down the base of all of these, uh, the mesh, the, the plastic mesh that covers it. That makes it super easy for us to go down and just pick up the sides. If I want to mow alongside of it, I don't have to worry about getting the net caught in the lawnmower. If we want to harvest, my wife can just push that up and harvest the blueberries and then uh, roll it back down. So that works really nice. So we can move it all the way right up to top center and that works out very, very well. Now again, uh, I mentioned it really depends on the variety of blueberry plants that, you, that you're using. Like our blue crop or blue gold uh, blueberry plants don't get very large. They produce lots of uh, delicious blueberries, but they're really a low profile and really bushy plant. Our Patriot and some of our other heritage high bush blueberry plants really start to get much taller. And as a result, the way that uh, the blueberries are here, uh, they're getting up to the point where they're trying to grow up through the netting and that really encourages the white-tailed deer as they see those little bits of the blueberry fresh um, fresh growth coming out between the net and pushing the net up they'll go ahead and start munching on the surface of them so unfortunately these uh, galvanized half inch uh, conduit only come in 10 foot lengths so what I'll be doing when I plant the next garden, or I may come down and actually modify this, is I'll be using some of my half inch rebar. Now I get this in 20 foot lengths from, uh, from the place where they, uh, where they, manu where they um, uh, sell concrete. So the, the big concrete mixers, the trucks that go around. And uh, I go in and I cut these up. Now, most of mine are cut in five foot lengths like this one is. And, uh, and I use those for my tomato cages and my tree guards, all sorts of things around here. So this half inch uh, rebar works extremely well. One of the things that's so good about this half inch rebar and this, this is a small piece of the uh, galvanized uh, conduit. This is half inch galvanized conduit is that that just barely fits right over the surface of the half inch rebar. So depending on what you'd like to do, instead of sticking these a couple of inches in the soil like I've done here, which really lowers the, the absolute height, the maximal height that your blueberry bushes, you can allow them to grow without getting damaged. Uh, you can actually use some of the half inch rebar, drive this into the ground. Now we're using weed mat here to help control the weeds so we don't have to bother with all the management of the blueberry plants during the, the uh, summer months. So you can just drive some of this uh, half inch rebar through the weed mat. I, I, I recommend having six inches laterally 
from wherever you penetrate. So you don't have to worry about the weeds working the way across the, if you have something like Bermuda grass or quack grass, they'll work the way across the surface of the weed mat and start finding their way down in through little, little holes. Yes, it'll die over a couple of seasons, but ultimately uh, you'll find that they will penetrate through the weed mats. So using half inch rebar, driving it through the weed mat uh, along that way, putting, putting these about midway in between each one of your blueberry plants. If you live in a part of the country like we do, we live in Oswego, New York, where there's high winds. We have to keep that netting from blowing away. Heavy snowfall during the winter months if you don't want to pull it up during the winter months. But if you have white-tailed deer and rabbits getting into the area, they'll get into your blueberry plants if you aren't careful. And uh, so cutting these whatever length you want. So if you put made these uh, three foot, uh, cut these each one of these three foot long or two and a half foot long drive them in six inches That'll give you a couple more foot of height for your blueberry plants and you can keep the netting separate from uh, All of the fresh growth each, each season and all So I thought I'd at least explain some of these things <laughs> I've been learning along the way each year uh, as we grow in our uh, berry bush development and Blueberry plants are just one of our blueberry plants, uh, types of berry plants that we produce here in the property. And uh, certainly they're really delicious, so you want to protect them as much as possible. So if you found this video of value, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any more comments or questions or, or thoughts that you want to share, please leave them in the comments below. That's always good for all of us as a community to share our ideas and all. And uh, I'm going to get back to work. We're going to have a nice sunny day today. I'm pretty excited. You folks have a great day. Bye-bye now.